everyone, my name is Katya and today I'm going to show you how to crochet these carrots. It's a quick and easy project, perfect for beginners, so let's get to it and create something great. The carrot is measuring about 7 inches long. For this project I'm using number 4 medium weight yarn. I have it in two colors, orange and green. 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needle and a little bit of stuffing. We're going to start with the magic ring. To work on the magic ring, hold your yarn tail with your thumb, wrap your yarn around your two fingers, crisscross it in the front, hold your working yarn with your ring finger, insert your hook into the first circle, pull out your second circle, here we have a loop, go into your working yarn and chain one. Here we have a magic ring with the chain one. Into this magic ring we're going to work four single crochets. Here's one, two, three, and four. Go ahead, pull on this yarn tail, tighten the center. For round two and the remaining of the rounds, you're going to need some sort of a stitch marker. I'm using a piece of yarn. Go ahead and place it in front of your first single crochet. For round two, what we're going to do is we're going to work two single crochets into the first stitch, which is right over here. Now, insert your hook into the first stitch and work two single crochets. Here's one. And go back into that same stitch and work two single crochets. Into the remaining of the stitches, we're just going to work one single crochet. So here's one single crochet. Go into the next stitch and work your next single crochet and one more time work a single crochet into the last stitch which is right over here it's a little bit tight in the beginning try your best and then it'll get better for round three we're going to work two single crochets into the first stitch so here's one and going back into that same stitch work your second single crochet and then work one single crochet into the remaining four stitches. So here's one. Move to the next stitch and work your next single crochet. And that's pretty much the repeat. It's just working two single crochets into the first stitch of each round. And then working one single crochet into the remaining of the rounds. So here we finished our round three. Make sure your yarn tail is inside your work. Try to push your work out so that will be easier for you as you're continuing to crochet your carrot. At the end of round three, we have six single crochets. For round four, we're going to repeat round three. We're just going to work two single crochets into the first stitch. Here's one. And going back into that same stitch, work your second single crochet. And then work one single crochet into the remaining of the stitches. So here we go. Working on the single crochets. And here I have one last single crochet left. And this is how it's looking. At the end of round four, you should have seven single crochets. For round five, we're going to repeat and we're going to work two single crochets into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into the remaining of the stitches and at the end you should have eight single crochets. At the end of round five, you should have eight single crochets. For round six, we're going to repeat and work two single crochets into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into the remaining of the stitches. And at the end of this round, you should have nine single crochets. For round seven, which is our last increase round, we're going to repeat and work two single crochets into the first stitch, and then work one single crochet into the remaining of the stitches. And at the end of this round, you should have 10 single crochets. For round 8 and all the way to round 18 or 20 depending how long you want your carrot to be, 
All we're going to do is work one single crochet into each stitch around. Continue working your single crochets around for rounds 8 all the way to round 18 or 20. You decide how high you want your carrot to be or how long I should say you want your carrot to be and I'll meet you at the end to show you what to do next. Here after working 10 rounds I'm going to stuff my carrot. I'm just using a little bit of stuffing just polyfill stuffing and just pushing it in like that and that's pretty much it I'm not going to overstuff my carrot because then it'll just be too big and then as I'm going to continue and crochet more rounds I'm going to stuff my carrot a little bit more each time after 16 rounds this is how it looks like and I'm going to go ahead and stuff a little bit more and once again I'm using a little bit of stuffing not too much and using my hook I'm just going to push the stuffing in like so and I'm going to continue and crochet a couple more rounds and I'll show you how it looks like here I worked a total of 18 rounds I'm just going to stuff a little bit more tiny amount and that's it so far my carrot is measuring about 5 inches and I'm going to stop here for the last round we're just going to work invisible decreases and to do that insert your hook into the first stitch front loop only go into the next stitch and pick up the front loop of that stitch too here we have three loops yarn over pull through two loops now we have two loops left yarn over and pull through both loops once again go into the next stitch pick up front loop go into the following stitch pick up front loop yarn over pull through both loops and then once again yarn over and pull through both loops and like that I'm just going to continue and work my invisible decreases like so that's three I'm going to do one more here that's four and then one last one right over here this would be my fifth one and my last one like so to end we're just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet right over here slip stitch and let's fasten off cut your yarn pull your hook out and this is how it looks like so far let's go ahead and work on this yarn tail really quickly insert your hook into any of the rounds that you worked on it doesn't matter where wrap your yarn tail around your hook and pull like so bring it out next thing what we're going to do is just same way insert your hook into any of the rounds wrap your yarn tail on your hook and pull through like so and then one more time same way and pull through now we can cut this let's work on the green part of the carrot so over here right on top we have five single crochets left insert your hook into any of the single crochets using green yarn wrap your yarn around the hook and pull through holding on to this yarn tail actually I'm going to make it a little bit longer so it's easier for me to work with later on chain one tighten the yarn tail now we're going to chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 continue chaining here I have sample of two different types of greeneries that I did here I chained 20 and it became a little bit longer and here I chained 10 and it's shorter so it's up to you how tall you want your greens to be you choose once you have a chain of 20 go back into that same stitch that we started working on right over here where we slip stitch and where we started our chains and slip stitch back into that same stitch like so now be careful here it might be a little tricky slip stitching it into that stitch slip stitch into the next stitch right over here 
and I'm holding on to the yarn tail as well. Chain 20. Once you have a chain of 20, go ahead and slip stitch back into that same stitch. And slip stitch into the greens, like so. And then repeat around. So you should be able to do it three more times. So continue working like that, chaining 20 and slip stitching back into that chain. And I'll meet you at the end to show you how to finish off. Here I finished working on my greens and I have a total of five, the chain 20. To end, all we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch right into the beginning chain that we worked on. Let me move this so you can see. Right over here, we're going to slip stitch into that chain or into that stitch. And let's fasten off, cut our yarn. Now last thing what we need to do is work on our yarn tails and I'll show you how to do that. We're just going to hide them using our carrot. But all I'm going to do is insert my needle right in the side, right over here, insert it and pull it out anywhere using any of the single crochet spaces right here and just pull through like that and you can cut this yarn tail and if it's showing a little bit you can just use your needle and just push it back in like that now last thing is this yarn tail and with this one we're going to try to close off the top a little bit and all I'm going to do is just use my slip stitches that I did and bring out my needle from the opposite direction like that, tighten it and then go back the opposite direction back where we started and pick up any of the stitches as you can like that, it doesn't have to be a lot and then going back the opposite direction one more time pull through, tighten it and then all we're going to do is we're just going to bring this yarn needle down towards the orange part and bring it out using any of the single crochets like so and you are done, you can cut this yarn tail and your carrot is finished. Here's our finished carrots. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.